Prince Harry and Meghan Markle chose to marry in Windsor because it is a place that is close to their hearts but the castle has also long been a favorite wedding venue for royal couples. Indeed, when Harry 33 and Meghan 36 exchange vows at the royal residence on May 19, they will become the 16th royal couple to have done so in the last 150 years. Historic venue Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will wed at St. George's Chapel, Windsor firm favorite Windsor Castle has hosted royal weddings for the Last 150 years they will be followed later this year by Harry's cousin. Related articles previous one next it's nearly showtime. UK Zero Vision hopeful Sue R.I.E. looks. Princess Eugenie, 28, who will marry Jack Brooks Bank in the same chapel in October. Taking it all in their stride. Charles, 69, and Camilla, 70. I made myself the butt of jokes before anyone else could make her feel like an A-lister from diamond stud earrings. Share this article share 48 shares ahead of Harry and Meghan's nuptials. Buckingham Palace has offered a look back at the 15 other couples who tie the not in Windsor, including the Queen's great-grandfather, a Swedish prince, and Harry's own uncle, 1863, the Prince of Wales and Princess Alexandra of Denmark, 1863, Albert. The Prince of Wales, the future Edward VII, and Princess Alexandra of Denmark, Prince Albert, the future Edward VII, and great-grandfather of the Queen, was the eldest son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Albert, known as Bertie to his family, met Danish Princess Alexandra at the cathedral in Speyer, Germany in 1861. He proposed the following year. The future king became the first of five of Queen Victoria's children who would marry at St. George's Chapel. 1866 Princess Helena and Prince Christian of Schleswig-Holstein 1866 Princess Helena, daughter of Queen Victoria and Prince Christian of Schleswig-Holstein Just five years later Prince Albert was followed by his younger sister Princess Helena The fifth child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert She became engaged to Prince Christian on December 5, 1865 and the couple married in the private chapel at Windsor Castle just seven months later, the princess was given away by her mother, Queen Victoria, who added a white morning cap to her black morning dress. 1871 Princess Louise and the Marquis of Lorne 1871 Princess Louise and the Marquis of Lorne She wore a lace veil she designed herself Princess Louise. The sixth child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert married John Campbell, Marquis of Lorne, heir to the Dukedom of Argyll. At St. George's Chapel five months after becoming engaged in October 1870, on the wedding day, Louise wore a wedding veil of honnet and lace that she designed herself and was escorted into the chapel by her mother and her two eldest brothers, the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Edinburgh. Princess Louise later became known as the Duchess of Argyll. 1879 Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught and Princess Louise Margaret of Russia. 1879 Prince Arthur, Duke of Connaught and Princess Louise Margaret of Prussia pictured Prince Arthur, the seventh child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Married Princess Louise at St. George's Chapel. Louise was the daughter of Prince Frederick Charles and was a great niece of the German Emperor. Arthur's godfather, Wilhelm I, the couple went on to have three children who were all raised at Bagshot Park in Surrey, which is the current residence of the Earl and Countess of Wessex who, coincidentally, were also married at St. George's Chapel. 1880 Princess Frederica of Hanover and Lewitbert von Paul Ramingen 1880 Princess Frederica of Hanover and Lewitbert von Paul Ramingen Princess Frederica daughter of King George V of Hanover and her fiancé Baron Alphonse von Paul Ramingen were both born in Germany but chose to marry in Windsor, Alfred Tennyson. The poet laureate wrote a quadrain in honor of Frederica's marriage, focusing on her relationship to her blind father, who had died two years earlier. After their marriage Frederica and Alphonse lived in an apartment at Hampton Court Palace and were frequent guests at Windsor Castle and at Osborne House. 
She was buried at Windsor Castle, 1882. Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany and Princess Helena of Waldeck and Pyrmont, 1882. Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany and Princess Helena of Waldeck and Pyrmont pictured next of Queen Victoria's children to marry at Windsor Castle was Prince Leopold. Her eighth child and youngest son, Leopold, married Princess Helena Friedrich, the daughter of Gerard Victor, reigning Prince of Waldeck Pyrmont at St. George's Chapel in April 1882. On the wedding day, Prince Helena was given away by both her father and her brother-in-law, King Willem III of the Netherlands. Leopold suffered from the blood disorder hemophilia, which led to his death just two years later at the age of 30. 1891 Princess Marie Louise of Schleswig-Holstein and Prince Arriver of Anhalt 1891 Princess Marie Louise of Schleswig-Holstein and Prince Arriver of Anhalt Just 25 years after her parents married at Windsor, Princess Marie Louise was the daughter of Princess Helena, daughter of Princess Victoria and Prince Christian. Princess Marie Louise exchanged vows with Prince Arribert at St. George's Castle. Prince Arribert was the third son of Frederick I, Duke of Anhalt and Princess Antoinette of Saxe-Altenburg, 1904. Princess Alice Mary of Albany and Prince Alexander of Teck, 1904. Princess Alice Mary of Albany and Prince Alexander of Teck in front of a painted set less than a decade later, Princess Marie Louise's cousin, Princess Alice Mary, also chose Windsor Castle as her wedding venue when she married Prince Alexander. Princess Alice was the daughter of Prince Leopold and Prince Helena. Prince Alexander was the brother of Princess Mary, the Princess of Wales, later Queen Mary, consort of George V. 1905, Princess Margaret of Connaught, and Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden. 1905, Princess Margaret of Connaught and Prince Gustav Adolf of Sweden sent her with a bridal party left to right, Princess Anna of Battenberg. Princess Beatrice of Saxe-Coburg, Princess Victoria Alexandra seated, and Princess Patricia of Connaught, Queen Victoria's granddaughter, Princess Margaret. Also followed in the footsteps of her parents, she tied the knot with Prince Gustav of Sweden, who would later become King Gustav VI Adolf of Sweden. The Duke of Connaught and Princess Louise Margaret by choosing to marry at Windsor Castle. The couple met when they were both visiting Egypt and reportedly fell in love at first sight. She died 30 years before he ascended the throne. After marrying they honeymooned in Ireland before settling in Sweden. One of Margaret's wedding presents was the Connaught Tiara, which remains in the Swedish Royal Jewelry Collection today. 1919, Lady Helena Cambridge and Major John Gibbs. 1919, Lady Helena Cambridge, niece of Queen Mary. And Major John Gibbs in Windsor. Lady Helena was the daughter of Adolphus Cambridge, a great grandson of King George III and younger brother of Queen Mary. The consort of King George V. In 1917, Adolphus, formerly Duke of Teck, gave up his German titles to become the first Marquess of Cambridge. Lady Helena. His third child married Major Gibbs of the Coldstream Guards at St. George's Chapel. The couple had no children. 1957, Anne Abel Smith and David Little Grohinger. 1957, Anne Abel Smith. Daughter of Princess Alice and David Little Grohinger Anne, a granddaughter of the Earl and Countess of Athlone, married David Little Grohinger at St. George's Chapel. In 1904, the Earl and Countess, then Prince Alexander of Teck and Princess Alice Mary of Albany, had also married at St. George's Chapel. 1992, Lady Helen Windsor and Timothy Taylor 1992, Lady Helen Windsor, daughter of Edward, the Duke of Kent, and Timothy Taylor after a break of more than 30 years. Royal weddings returned to Windsor with the nuptials of Lady Helen Windsor and Timothy Taylor. Timothy is an art dealer. Lady Helen is the daughter of Edward. The Duke of Kent, a first cousin of the Queen. 1999, Prince Edward and Sophie Rise Jones. 1999, Prince Edward and Sophie Rise Jones. Now the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Prince Edward, the Queen's youngest child, married Sophie Rise Jones, now styled as the Countess of Wessex.
Edward's two older brothers Prince Charles and the Duke of York acted as his supporters during the service at St. George's Chapel after the ceremony. The newlyweds rode in an open horse-drawn carriage around the town of Windsor. The Countess is said to be a favorite of the Queen. The couple have two children together, Lady Louise Windsor and James Viscount Severn 2005, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall 2005, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall had a service at St. George's Chapel. Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles married in a civil ceremony at Windsor Guildhall. Afterwards there was a service of prayer and dedication at St. George's Chapel. The service was attended by the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh and was led by the Archbishop of Canterbury 2008 Peter Phillips and Autumn Kelly 2008 Peter Phillips and Autumn Kelly with back row LR Captain Mark Phillips Princess Anne Kitty Kelly Brian Kelly front row LR Prince Philip the Queen Ivy Kelly and Edith McCarthy Peter Phillips the eldest child of Princess Anne and Captain Mark Phillips married Autumn Phillips, a Canadian management consultant at St. George's Chapel. The couple became engaged in July 2007 after meeting at the Canadian Formula One Grand Prix in 2003. The couple are now parents to Savannah and Isla Phillips. Before their marriage Autumn converted from Roman Catholicism to join the Church of England in 2018 May. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will marry at St. George's Chapel on May 19th, October. Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank will wed at the same venue on October 12th.